Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, are we on the right trajectory, aligning our will with our higher powers? Do we remember when we were first hopeful? April 29th, thought for the day. The Alcoholics Anonymous program is one of faith, hope, and charity. It's a program of hope because when new members come into AA, the first thing they get is hope. They hear older members tell how they had been through the same kind of hell that they have and how they found the way out through AA. And this gives them hope that if others can do it, they can do it. Is hope still strong in me? Meditation for the day. The rule of God's kingdom is perfect order, perfect harmony, perfect supply, perfect love, perfect honesty, perfect obedience. There is no discord in God's kingdom, only some things still unconquered in God's children. The difficulties of life are caused by disharmony in the individual man or woman. People lack power because they lack harmony with God and with each other. They think that God fails because power is not manifested in their lives. God does not fail. People fail because they are out of harmony with Him. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be in harmony with God and with other people. I pray that this harmony will result in strength and success. Honesty is the first step. Hope is the second step. And faith is the third step. When we build our foundation in our own powerlessness and decide our higher power will be driving the bus, we find it easier to be courageous and dive into our inventory. The fourth step. By working the steps with a sponsor, our step guide, who has done them and lives them, we relate to someone who knows what he is talking about. He probably shared what he was like when he first found AA, desperate and lonely. So we relate immediately. We are a bit shocked at his frankness at admitting such weakness. And as we continue working with him through the steps, we realize it is not weakness at all, but courageous strength. We admit our faults and know we are not at risk. We are protected by the same higher power that solved our alcohol problem. Hope is necessary, but not a strategy. Alcoholics Anonymous is a program of action built on faith and a knowing we are not in control. The steps are a great strategy for living life. The big book says it. It is a design for living, where we align our will with our God's will. When we do, our lives flow smoothly. Disharmony with others hardly ever happens, and when it does, we pray and act better. We remember we are all at different levels of enlightenment. We try not to add to the negative energy. Step 10 says, when we are at fault, we make amends. When the other person is at fault, we forgive. Only God is perfect. We are progressing towards his perfection, knowing we will never be God. We don't want to be. We like our position, and we try to transmit his will to others by our example and how we handle life's challenges. When we are in harmony with our higher power, we are able to help others get sober and to be useful to all in our society. All is good and we stay sober. Noteworthy is how we are now at peace and actually enjoy helping others and thinking of others, which keeps us out of our own way. Consider, are we on the right trajectory, aligning our will with our higher powers? 
Do we remember when we were first hopeful? April 29th. Thought for the day. The Alcoholics Anonymous program is one of faith, hope, and charity. It's a program of hope because when new members come into AA, the first thing they get is hope. They hear older members tell how they had been through the same kind of hell that they have and how they found the way out through AA. And this gives them hope that if others can do it, they can do it. Is hope still strong in me? Meditation for the day. The rule of God's kingdom is perfect order, perfect harmony, perfect supply, perfect love, perfect honesty, perfect obedience. There is no discord in God's kingdom, only some things still unconquered in God's children. The difficulties of life are caused by disharmony in the individual man or woman. People lack power because they lack harmony with God and with each other. They think that God fails because power is not manifested in their lives. God does not fail. People fail because they are out of harmony with Him. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be in harmony with God and with other people. I pray that this harmony will result in strength and success. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.